Hey everybody, Jens back with another video for you guys, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys some fun. This activity I've done quite a few times before, it pertains to my favorite band. If you guys have been following the channel, you may or may not know who that band is. And if you guys are not following the channel already, feel free to hit that subscribe button right now and ring that notification bell so you guys know what's going on with the channel at all times. I really appreciate it if you do. And if you guys get sick of this, well, you can just unsubscribe any freaking time. And as I was saying, if you guys have been following the channel, you may or may not know who my favorite band is. Well, and that band is Black Veil Brides. That's right. So I, of course, found a tier list. I wanted to do Set the World on Fire specifically by Black Veil Brides. That's my favorite, spoiler alert. Um, Black Veil Rides record at this point in my life and um, well it kind of had all the albums so I just decided hey why not do all the albums at least the albums I know very well so I'll be making a series of videos on Black Veil Rides albums if you guys would like to see more than them beyond this video then let me know down in the comment sections down below if you guys want to see this series really really happen let's get this video up to at least 10 to 15 likes that's right guys and I'll start blasting those away. So if you guys follow Black Veil Brides, you do know that their first album was called We Stitch These Wounds. Of course, they remastered that album. It's called Restitch These Wounds. And of course, Set the World on the Fire is their second one. And then they had the Coffin EP, then Wretched and Divine, and then BBB4. And then I think it was Veil was the next one. And, and then, oh, this list only has Saints of the Blood and The Vengeance. So it doesn't have like Torch and all that stuff. Of course, these are going to be ranked gold, silver, bronze, trash. I think you guys can uh, figure that one out for your own. Pretty self-explanatory. So without a further ado, we're going to start out with the Outcast Call to Arms. The intro track, uh, kind of just an intro um, with like spoken word, kind of like Number of the Beast, if you will. Um, I think it's a really, really cool opening to the song uh, to the album sorry um it's not really a song per se um i would just put it in silver i mean it's it's definitely really fucking cool i mean can't really put it in gold by any means but in my opinion but uh, silver is where that goes uh never give in uh i don't believe this album's in order as far as the tracking i honestly don't remember i think we, we stitches wounds is the first song on the record the actual song uh i don't think it really matters to me personally it doesn't um, Never Give In is a bronze song, um, cool song with a lot of meaning, of course, Never Give In, um, pretty self-explanatory track. Uh, Sweet Blasphemy is definitely a really dope track, I really like the remastered version of that. Um, honestly, I think as, as we go along, I'm gonna put, you know, the new Never Give In there as well. I'll, I'll just, I'll just do the re, uh, Stitch These Wounds with that, that's what I'll decide to do. Um. But yeah, um, I, I honestly, yeah, the remastered version is about the same thing. Uh, Sweet Blasphemy is, I honestly would put that in gold for the new one, and then silver for the old version. Uh, definitely the production, definitely upped that song. It's kind of hard to put it in gold because they have so many songs that are gold, but I don't think they're quite as good as some of the other songs, but still a damn good song. But I think that the uh, new version made it gold. And uh, we have Carolyn, okay, really good acoustic track as well, with some really cool soloing in it. A lot of these songs, I feel like, I'm just going to say it has a really cool solo in it, because Jake Pitts and Jinx are just amazing guitar players. Um, yeah, I never really like got super crazy into this song, but it's definitely not a trash song. It's, it's definitely a really good song. I'd have to just put it in bronze compared to the rest of what they have. Uh... Pre-production was really good too, but I gotta put that in bronze as well. Um, I don't think I, I think it definitely upped the song's quality, but the songwriting not so much. But it, it's definitely a cool song. I'm comparing it to a lot of different songs, which you will find out in the video which ones are gold. And this album will have a gold one, so stay around for that one. And uh, we have We Stitches Wounds, which I will put in silver. The riffing in this song is insane. Like, I think, honestly, as far as, like, my personal taste, like, as far as guitar playing, as far as, like, the riffing and whatnot, I think this is their best song as far as, like, getting, like, um, really technical, in, if, for lack of a better term. I think it really, really shows off their technical side. Not to say that they don't do that in other tracks, but 
Um, and then it's just it's just like the melody like that, that Andy puts over that because like as a singer, like hearing hearing that like guitar line and whatnot, I'm just like, how the hell would you sing over that? It just goes to show you how brilliant Andy really is. That melody, like, it doesn't seem like it would fit, you know, if you, like, so if you soloed it or something, or you just heard it offhand, just the you know, acapella, you'd be like, I wouldn't fit over that instrumental. Well, it does, and it's perfect. Good fucking song. Again, another really good solo in that song. And uh, Beautiful Remains is a really underrated track. I'm going to put it in silver, personally. Um, again, it's just not up there with some of the songs, but it's definitely a really underrated track. The chorus is insanely catchy go listen to that if you haven't Toad Surrender in my opinion is another silver song wow we're getting a lot of silver on this um on this list uh again really cool very Avenged Sevenfold like intro kind of like an afterlife intro I think that's one of the reasons I kept listening to this song just for that damn intro and um, yeah, it's like all these songs just really have like their own unique kind of vibe to them. You know, for some reason, it just it just seems like they, they just all really like stand out. Like, uh, I can understand why this record really stood out in the best way and then to some people in the worst way. Because it's, it's just it's just so damn unique and it's what we needed in 2010. I believe that's the year this came out. And uh, Perfect Weapon, honestly, the best song on the record. Uh, this gets, even the older version gets... Um, the gold tier. Uh, the reproduction is insanely good as well. The biggest thing I had is I think the scream at the beginning in the original was much better. I think in the remaster, I think it's very weak sounding. But however, that's made up for with the drums just kicking more ass. And the guitar tone is insanely more improved. And I could really say that about all the songs. And I think Andy's vocals definitely overall sound better. Just except for that scream at the beginning. And then we have Knives and Pens, which actually... Technically, I guess you could say has three different versions because you have the original before um, Jinx and uh, Jake joined the band. And I think Ashley, this might have been pre-Ashley too, but um, we're going to go with the album version here. And yeah, really damn good. I mean, they added a, a guitar soul to it. That goes in the gold as well. Um, can't really say that the yeah, the reproduction was really good too. Really can't say anything bad about it. Um if we're gonna throw in the single version that came out before the album, um, I would say that's even better because like Jake has, and Jinx actually both have a guitar solo in that song, they trade off, it's really cool, so that actually upped it. Really good song. Um, that's actually the song that got me into them, a little fun fact. And then the next one is The Mortician's Daughter, really damn good track. And this is all acoustic, I believe, if I'm remembering correctly. On I'm gonna put that in silver. We got a lot of silver in this joint. Um, yeah, Mortician's Daughter. I think it honestly, yeah, it's gonna stay in silver for the remaster as well. Bear with me here, guys. And um, I'm getting some glitching again. And All Your Hate. Ooh, I mean, that's a really damn good one. Uh, fuck. Yeah, that, 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 that goes, that also goes in the silver. Oh, we're getting another column. Um, same thing with the remaster. Um, some of the best, I know I said this about we, we stitch these wounds, but some of the best riffing on the damn record. Not that the guitar playing's bad at any point on the record, but this song gets just, yeah, it, it sounds really nuts. Just all over the place on the guitar. Really cool, like, kind of classical, um, inspired, uh, pieces, if you will, if you will, for lack of a better term, that Jinx wrote into the bridge parts, interludes of the song. Really cool. Go check this out. And, uh, Heaven's Calling, honestly, it was never, like, a older, new version, never was a like, big fan of it. Um, it's not a bad song. Uh, yeah, that, that's tough, because this only has four tiers, because it's not absolutely garbage. Ah, uh, Heaven's Calling, where do I put you? Uh, yeah, I honestly gotta go in the trash for that one, both versions. Yeah, just wasn't a big fan. This one did not end very well, but hey, I mean, look where the record is. Mostly gold, mostly silver. Got some bronze. Only just one trash song. Definitely a damn good album. Go pick it up if you guys can. Or at least go check it out on Spotify and YouTube and wherever you can listen to it for free or stream it. Um, definitely a recommended listen, especially when I heard Perfect Weapon. I, I think that was like the second song I think I heard by them ever. And then I just snowballed from here on out, and here we are in 2021, almost 2022, at the time we recorded this record. 
and whatnot. And if you guys, as I said at the beginning of the video, if you guys could, let's get this video up to at least 10 likes. I want to go for 15, but 10 is bare minimum. And I will release the next video of this series. Until next time. Until next time. Jay Adams, out.